Hi, hello, I'm here with a new um, video and new article about abnormal involuntary movement scale in tardive dyskinesia, the minimal uh, clinically important in, in difference. So if you're doing research on, on this topic, the minimal clinically important difference is important because you somehow uh, created treatment for the disease and you created the scale and you don't know how you think that how you should assess that um, the scale um, the, the treatment worked or not so that's why the minimal clinically important this difference is uh, important and according to this article it wasn't as hasn't been established before and they use this treatment for the uh, the disease and they receive even they mention even some of the financial conflict disclosures and conflict of interest um, so objectives as I mentioned the objectives of the study uh, they mentioned the data how they pulled the data uh, they it includes the low dose and high dose and according to the results so if you are using the this um, this scale according to the results, two point decrease in abnormal involuntary movement scale may be considered as clinically important. So this is the so if the initial score is six and you found it to four and then you can assume that there is an improvement. But if the first assessment show that the score is six and then the last one is five, then there is no clinically important difference. So it seems quite simple. Anyway, that is the take home message from this article. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye bye.